Hi there. So for this question, we are asked to hence solve this equation here. For theta greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So you can see the answers. Theta turns out to be 20.1 degrees and 110.1 degrees. We had to give both to one decimal place. So how do we do this? Well, I'll just take you through it. It said hence, so it had something to do with the previous part of the question. Remember, in the previous part, we had to show that this equation reduced down to tan x equals 3 root 3 minus 4. So what I'm doing then is having to look for some kind of connection between the equation that we've got to solve and what we were given. And what I notice is that if we add 10 degrees to the 30 degrees, that's going to bring us up to the 40 degrees. And so if I let x equal 2 theta plus 10, I'm going to get what I've got in the bracket here and also in here. So that's how we pick up on the previous part. So if we let x equal 2 theta plus 10 degrees, then we know that the tan of x from up here, which is 2 theta plus 10 degrees, must equal 3 root 3 minus 4, okay, from here. So now all I've got to do is work out the inverse tan of 3 root 3 minus 4, and that will give us 2 theta plus 10 degrees. And make sure your calculator is in degrees mode, and we get 50.10 and so on degrees. Now you'll notice I've drawn a quadrant diagram here. I'm assuming you're familiar with the quadrant diagram. I feel it's a lot easier than using a graphical method. So tan is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. So as you can see, you draw your line in the usual way, equally inclined to the horizontal here and marking these two angles as being the same. And so that 50.10 degrees refers to this angle here. Now, we've got to be very careful with ones like this because we need to work out all the other angles in the range. And we take the first one, which is a possible 2 theta plus 10 degrees, and we also go from the start here, turn in a clockwise sense to the next blue line. That too is another 2 theta plus 10 degrees. And I know that this is going to be the range because if I take this range here, multiply each of these values here by 2, and then add 10. We've got 2 times 0 is 0, plus 10 gives us 10. Here we're going to get 2 theta plus 10, and if I double 180 and add 10, I get 370. So this will be in the range, okay, from 10 degrees to 370 degrees. So we're just going to have these two solutions. So I get the other one here, 230.10, just by doing 180 plus another 50.10 degrees, okay? And that gives me 2 theta plus 10. I then take 10 degrees off each of these, giving me these angles, and then divide through by 2, and then just round up, okay?